At GCSE, you should have been introduced to certs. Okay? So from that, it's likely that you were also introduced to the difference between rational and irrational numbers. So let's start with those. A rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction, so one whole number over another whole number, A over B. So numbers like 0.5 can be written as one half, and 0.32 can be written as 32 over 100, which can then be simplified. Okay? But these are both examples of rational numbers. An irrational number is a number that cannot be written in this way. So a number like pi, for example. And you can't get around it by writing pi over 1, because pi itself is not a whole number, even though 1 is. So what happens is that a rational number is a terminating decimal, like this. But an irrational number does not terminate. Although some terminating, uh, some decimals that do not terminate, like 0.1 recurring, for example, can be written as 1 over 9. So 0 0.1 recurring, although it's not terminating, is a rational number. Pi doesn't terminate and there are no repetitions in its number sequence. And so that's what makes it this irrational number. Another example is root 2. And this is where the surds come in. So a surd is an unsimplified radical. That's kind of the complicated way of saying it. Okay, so root 2 cannot be simplified. And root 2 is another example of an irrational number. Root 3 is, in a similar way, an absurd that cannot be simplified. Okay? It's an irrational number. It cannot be simplified further. The square root of 4, on the other hand, can be simplified. Because we know the square root of 4 is 2. Okay? The positive square root, anyway. So... The square root of 4 isn't a third in the sense that it can be simplified, while root 2 and root 3 cannot. Now, all proper thirds like this are irrational numbers. And because I've hinted at this concept of being able to simplify a third, uh, that is what we're going to look at in the next video, to see how we can actually simplify one um, into its base components.